The latest numbers from the Minnesota Department of Health show that as of Wednesday, about 8% of Minnesota's 5.6 million residents have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine so far. Nearly 97,000 Minnesotans have completed their two dose vaccine series. So where does Minnesota rank compared to the rest of the country? Gordon Severson takes a closer look at that, plus how the U.S. vaccine rollout compares to other countries. United States is actually doing pretty well. Dr. Jeremy Ewitt at the University of Minnesota Duluth says there's a misconception among many Americans that the U.S. is falling behind with the vaccine rollout. We've seen a number of areas where there's been frustration about access to the vaccine or confusion about who was going to be eligible for the vaccine. But when you look at this interactive map created by Our World in Data and Oxford University, you'll see the U.S. is actually ahead of the pack. The darker the color, the higher the vaccination rate. The U.S. is ranked first in the world for how many vaccines have been given out. When you look at it per capita, we drop to sixth, but still very high. Can you guess who number one is? Israel is just leading the way by quite a bit. Immensely. They have really been the model for, for the international community right now. And after Israel is the United Arab Emirates, then Seychelles, a small island off the coast of East Africa. The UK and Bahrain round out the top five. Yud says they all have something in common. A relatively small population in a relatively compact geographic space. Which makes the U.S. ranking sixth even more impressive when you consider how big the country is and its high population. Similar countries like China, Canada, and Russia don't even crack the top 20. I mean, if we look at it in global comparison, the United States is actually doing, doing really well. But inside the U.S., there's a wide gap between states. According to Johns Hopkins University, here in Minnesota, we currently rank 17th for fully vaccinated people. So not the best, but certainly not the worst. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News. So compared to other countries, the U.S. may be doing well, but we are falling behind expectations. It was originally thought we could have more than 20 million Americans vaccinated by the end of 2020, and we are just hitting that milestone a month later.